what is up welcome back to the 11th episode of the five year challenge with leads um i've actually recorded this in the evening which is a little bit different most of my recordings i think all of my recordings so far have come in the morning and i've got a couple of really interesting ones for you uh tonight we are streaming we're currently live uh which i'm not always live when i record these but we are live right now we've got people in the chat more importantly, we have two people in the party who are also doing this challenge with me. We've got Matty and Austin who are in the party. So we're going to be sort of catching up with them, seeing where they're at in regards to what, they, what they've what they done um, with, their, with their teams in their saves. Maybe see how many points they want. I know Austin is now in his second season, so we've got a lot of catching up to do. Matty's still in his first. He's not too far ahead of us. Um... And yeah, we're also going to be sort of listening in to, you know, what they're doing throughout their saves whilst we're streaming tonight, whilst we're in the party chat. So it should be quite good. We should be able to maybe record the next few episodes like this. And um, and, and, and yeah, it's, it's just cool that you guys now get to see what these guys are doing in their saves as well. Obviously, it is a three-way challenge. Um, and also a challenge that, don't forget, you can do as well. If you fancy um, having a go at this challenge... Please, please do, and let me know how how you get on with it as well. Um, I can put the the points in the stream in the uh, the video information. I can also put the points on the screen if that's something you want. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we're gonna jump into our lead save now. We're gonna jump into the party, see how they're doing, and um, we'll go from there. Okay, so Austin, Austin where first. Austin, where are you at with your with your Leeds United save right now? What's happened? I'm in, uh, I'm in the third season, so I've played a lot. Um, third? In, yep. I thought you were in your uh, second. I am just... Bloody hell. I have one game left in September, so I've only just started it. Okay. Um, anything crazy that's happened? You, have you got a point tally that you're on at the moment that you want to... Uh, points? I'm, I mean, I'm not doing very good, but I'll keep it till the end. Uh, okay, keep fair enough. To the end and give a big reveal. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Tottenham got relegated. <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to buy all their players. Um, but Son Heung Min and Dominic Solobzai are still in the championship for Tottenham. Wow. I don't ask me why Son Heung Min is in the championship, but he is. Um, that's mad. Yeah, actually, I want a quick look at Tottenham squad. Okay, Matty, where are you at with yours? Fill us in. Um, I'm in February 2021, first season, mm -hmm. and I've had a pretty, pretty hard season, really. It's been ups and downs. I've, I am in the top half. I think I'm seventh in the Prem. It's pretty decent for a start, and I'm just going now into a Carabao Cup final against United. I mean, <laughs> I did actually beat United, I think, early in season, like 4-1 or something. It's a great game. I beat both Manchester clubs at home. <laughs> Other than that, I've spit ups and downs. I got a manager of the month, though, in, I think, October, where I was unbeaten. I think I won every game, so it's been all right. All right. Could be better. It's going so much better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than mine. I don't... I... I, I don't know about you guys, but I've just been so unlucky with everything. Injuries, performances. At the start of the season, I had so many good performances against... So Spurs, I lost 3-2 to Spurs. I lost 2-1 to Chelsea. I played so well against them. Probably should have won. I'm, I've managed to put together a little bit of form lately. I'm sort of... I'm, what, five games unbeaten in the league? Which is, is really good. It's an improvement. But I'm still... I'm in the relegation zone uh yeah i'm currently 18th in the league it's december 2020 so i'm still in that in the first half of the first season 16 points from 15 games it doesn't make for good reading um but we you know what i i don't want to make excuses but my god have i been unlucky with injuries just i've had so many people out luckily they've all started to come back and maybe that's why results have picked up but even then and the big one is Damari Gray is, you know, I signed him, really excited about him when I signed him. Um, unfortunately, two weeks later, he told me he wanted to leave. So it's not been great. <laughs> that was funny. I laughed at that a little bit. 
<laughs> but I'm feeling optimistic. I'm optimistic that maybe we can sign one or two players in the January transfer window and maybe kick on and just just try and finish mid table somehow. Um, it's been a, it's been a weird um, it's been a weird season to be fair. Like everyone's been beating everyone. You know, even now I'm I might be 18th in the league. But I'm only, looking at it, I'm only six points behind the European spots, which is mad. So, you know, we'll see what happens. There's a long way, long way to go. Long way to go. Yeah, I'll see, see what happens. Okay, so real quick, um, we're going into the game against Liverpool. It's going to be a really tough game. If we can, um, if we can potentially come away with a point from this, I'll be so, so happy. We've had to rotate our team massively. A lot of tired legs. It is the Christmas period, so naturally everyone's going to be tired. Um, but we're going to go with Meslier in goal, Dallas, Lorente, Struick, and Cooper at the back. Um, they're the only ones really that are fit. Um, we're going with Phillips and Shackleton in the centre of midfield. We're going with Fina on the right hand side, Costa on the left hand side, Click through the middle, and Patrick Bamford up top. Uh, again, Bamford's tired, shouldn't really be playing or starting. But we're going to use him and potentially bring on... We've got Tyler Roberts and Rodrigo looking to rebuild their fitness back from injury now. So that could be a, a plus from this game. But we're under no, no illusion. It's going to be a really, really tough game. Um, six changes from the last game. You know, we've got the likes of Jack House and Damari Gray just not fit to start on the bench. Hopefully they can come off uh, and be our key impact players for goodness sake Jamie Shackleton he's picked up an injury within the first five minutes he's gonna to have to be taken off the good news is I'm gonna put Rodrigo on I think but oh, no, he's playing through the center isn't he I can't put Rodrigo on at center mid I did I was like he's oh, great as a Mazzala like I used him a few times there. <laughs> yeah he wasn't bad yeah. Do you know I'm gonna go for it then yeah. let's go for it oh actually he can play there quite well Rodrigo's gonna come on we won't play him defensively though he'll go on to Automatic. Mm. Go on, let's put him on Roman Playmaker. Let's just see what he can create. Roman Playmaker. It's his first game back from injury. He's he's only recommended to play it 45 minutes, so might have to sub him back off later on in the game. We shall see. And we've got a first highlight of the game. It's going to be a Liverpool free kick. Minamino has been brought down. On the edge of the box, Milner's played it short to Virgil van Dijk, who shoots, just goes past the post. And it's a early chance for Liverpool, eight minutes into the game. Another highlight is Minimino plays it to Gomez, into the box towards Origi Meslier. He's able to come out and catch up. I started Meslier in goal, because he has been my first team keeper. Meslier is incredible. Meslier, do you know what? Meslier had a bad start to the season for me, so I've been playing Casilla. I kept conceding too many long-range goals. So I put Casillo in, but Liverpool are here, Minamino, and that's a great save from Meslia. Well done. Um, he's actually he's picked he's opted his game since I dropped him and started playing Casilla. Meslia has been performing a lot better. Milner with the corner, Van Dijk headed it over, and that's the end of Liverpool's attack. Twelve minutes in, they're looking very dangerous. Meslia. Another highlight. It can be Liverpool again, surely. Ball goes up towards Firmino, headed out by Cooper. Liverpool win possession. Origi, good first touch. Into the box, Struick tackles him, but he gets the ball back. Rigi past Struick. All he's got to do is slot it across, and he's put it into the side netting. That's um, pretty poor play. No Salah, no Mane for Liverpool. No Trent, no Robertson. Here they are with another highlight. Milner to Firmino. Milner's playing left back. Virgil van Dijk forward to Henderson. Finds Minamino. Firmino, Diogo, Jota, Kaita to Jota. They're pinging it around. Art Cooper is able to head clear. But we're not going to win the second ball. Gomez picks it up, plays it to Milner. Finds the ball over the top towards Rigi, but cleared by Dallas. Liverpool pick up the ball again, and now Jota's in, and he's put it away. It's 1 0 Liverpool. Damn it. I don't know what to do. They're literally they're all over us. Retire. Don't know what to do. What a goal. We, do, we, we just cannot get the ball off them. absolutely battered. If you don't get relegated, I doubt they'll take you. Jota is in. Good save by Meslia. Again, he's been my best player. He's on the 7.6. Going 
Oh man, corner for Liverpool. Milner whips it in. Struick is able to head that clear. Jota's picked it back up. Henderson whips it in towards the back post. Towards Milner, gets ahead on it. Mesley again, safe hands. He looks at 7.7 .7 now. That just goes to show what's happening in this game. We just can't get at them. We've had one shot, zero on target. We just... We can't get at them. And then now it's a Liverpool free kick. Cater plays it into the box towards Van Dijk. Who heads it over. Oh, we have a highlight here. Down near the Liverpool... We've got a throw in. Down near the Liverpool goal. Dallas. But Kite is able to clear it. Phillips is going to have enough time to bring the ball under control. To Rodrigo. First time ball. Over to Rafino. Shoots. And Adrian is able to collect it. Oh, what a chance. Rafina. He's just been shocking for me this season. Another highlight. Gomez to Minamino. Giving it away to Costa. He looks for Bamford, but Bamford wasn't really paying attention. Now Liverpool on the attack. Jota, first time ball for Minamino. Shoots, it's come off the keeper. Firmino taps in the rebound, 2-0. I mean, uh, I was never expecting to beat Liverpool. I just hoped we'd... Uh, just hoped that we'd put up a, a better fight, to be honest. Tim was out. Oh, 3-0 down. One minute, yeah. Divock Origi. Uh, 60th. 3-0 yeah. down in the first but, half. It's not going well. minutes, mate, to turn the final around. I believe, mate. Oh, my God. Get us into the changing rooms. Oh, it's another highlight, please. If it's four. Gomez throws it into Firmino. Gomez over the top for Origi. Hits the post. Hits the keeper. Lorento clears. Oh, man. We had two shots, one on target so far. How is there three minutes of stoppage time? Bamford's knackered. Let's get the boys in. Um, I've got to take Bamford on, off. I think let's bring Tyler Roberts on. Back from injury. Um, thing is, do I go for it now or do I sit back and just try and defend because... At the end of the day, this might come down to goal difference, and I can't. You know, I've already conceded. I've already had games this season where I've lost three or five nil. But we lead, damn it! We're going to attack. Fuck it. Here we go. Costa is going to attack. Roberts attack. Rafina attack. We'll have Dallas and Cooper on support. Tempted. So I'm going to put Rodrigo up top. Rodrigo, we're going to go for... I'm going to play a little bit of a strange formation. We're going to go for like a 4-2-4. A four, four. We're going to play Rodrigo as an advanced forward. Roberts as a pressing forward. Click and Phillips in the middle. And we're just going to try something different. And see how it goes. First highlight of the second half. And the ball is in Liverpool's possession. But they've given it away to Tyler Roberts. And now if we score here, that makes the second half a little bit more interesting. Rodrigo. Finds a ball to Rafina. He squares it for Costa. And it's 3 1. We've got a goal back. Held a Costa. And I, I, do you know what? That all came through Rodrigo. That ball out wide for Rafina. And then a really nice square ball for Costa to slot it home. 3 1. Start the second half. Maybe, just maybe, we're in with a shot of, of, of picking up a point here. Another highlight. It came from our throw and Shakiri's dispossessed us. But we've won the ball back. Click back to Struik. Plays the ball over the top for Rodrigo, who does get ahead on it. But it looks like Gomez is going to be able to sweep this off. Plays it back to Alisson. Uh, to someone not Alisson. Adrian. He's found Jota in a lot of space on the left-hand side. It's a good tackle from Phillips. Got to be careful, though, because he's already been booked. Rigi. It's had a shot from about 25 yards out. It's not even remotely troubling. Meslier in a goal. I'm tempted to go positive. Almost tempted to switch to a positive mentality. We're going to do it. Yeah, I lost 2 now. 
We've got oh, we've got another highlight leads for the oh. corner. Rodrigo from range, he's hit the crossbar. Oh my god! If that goes in, game on. Oh my life. Cooper has given everything for this game. Um, but we want attacking threats. I think I'm going to bring on Damari Gray. We're gonna. I want to see a good performance from him. Let's go. 15 minutes left on the clock. And do you know what? I've got a little bit of belief that we can score two goals here. Arguably, that we should have scored. Oh, Liverpool just hit the crossbar. Diogo Jossa. Goes out for a goal kick. It looked like it came off my player. Oh, I just clicked. Looks like we're not going to get any more out of this game. We're going to go attacking. I feel like we've played very, very well in the second half. Quite happy with how they how they performed. There's the final whistle. I think just a difference in quality there. Difference in quality. Despite the result, I'm pleased with the performance. That's one of the very few times I've actually selected that as a uh, a post game uh, team talk. To be honest. Um, well, remarkably, we're out of the relegation zone with that. That's interesting. Uh, again, I think that came down to goal difference. We're 17th on 16 points. Sheffield, Aston Villa and Southampton, the only ones below us so far. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too bad. We move. We move. I love that. I love that the lap scores for City against United. Wow, that's that's. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Geese was in my chat. Just said I'm joint 18th. No, all right. No, I'm not joint 18th. We don't go down together. No. They'll go down. <laughs> all right, all we right. League together. Okay. <laughs> whoever said uh, whoever said about joint? Don't know. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the uh, this episode of the five year challenge. Hopefully, you, hopefully you've enjoyed it. A um, little bit different from the usual episodes. Obviously, we're live. You've got Matty in the party. Austin was in the party. Uh, he'll be back a little bit later. Um, so we might get a few more a few more episodes done with him. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and go follow me over on Twitch. Um, and uh, spam my chat and, and, and just drown out Geezweez's messages in my chat. That'd be great. <laughs> See ya.